Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. <laughs> I guess we have a little crossing traffic here. I didn't think that would happen. I thought that this guy was far enough along it uh, was not going to be in the way. <laughs> alright, alright. Like and subscribe. So this guy is running okay. This is one of the ones to our new farm up uh, in the big city. I did spend quite a bit of time uh, playing after the last episode. Uh, maybe another... I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes, just because so much was going on up here. I ended up having to tinker with and adjust a lot of the passenger and freight stations that we put in, the truck stations that we put in around here. And I had to put in this bypass to get over the railroad tracks because the traffic was just getting so badly backed up along here. Even though I upgraded it to a six-lane street, <laughs> I also wasn't sure I was actually even going to be able to record this morning. Um, the game, I started up the game and I just went, oh, okay, what's going on here? And crash. So, all right. I restarted the computer just to make sure something wasn't going on with it. Went back into the game and went, all right, it's not going to crash when I, oh yeah, it crashed. <laughs> so I did some research and I guess this started when they put out the update with the, uh, with the, uh, what PS2 version of the game or whatever. Uh, which happened while I was on my hiatus from playing this. And, uh, yeah, it just affects some people. The game just crashes. But I was fortunate. I knew I had an NVIDIA update I hadn't installed yet, so I went ahead and installed that, and it appears to have fixed it. Today, however, what I want to get started on, that's all running fine. Oh, and I'm surprised nobody yelled at me about it. I set up this whole thing last time and forgot to set up a delivery for the fuel. <laughs> So we had all this fuel being created and going nowhere, but as you can see, it's going now. I got I have a train that's going from here up to the north here and delivering fuel to that station. But we only have one oil well here feeding all of this. And I noticed a brand new oil well has spawned down here. I've noticed actually going around the map, there are several industries that have come and gone while we've been playing and I just didn't notice it. <laughs> So, but let's get go ahead and get this on here. And also, I want to clean this up. I am sick to death of this stupid mess. So here's another one. A uh, steel mill closing. Oh, well. Uh, um, I'm sick to death of this mess. Uh, we've got to do something with it. So, pause, first off. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the passenger and the freight. Let's put the freight right over here. It'll still be nice and close to all of this. So we won't have to change you know, our truck uh, uh, station or any of that, that'll all work just fine. And then we could just split off from here and have industry come into here, split off here and have industry come over here. The other one would be this one would be a bit of a nuisance because we're going to have to rerun it uh, to come around and go into there. But we'll figure out a way to do that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So let's go ahead and do that first off. Okay. This freight. Uh, let's go ahead and make it a 320. Let's see. I've got one, two, no, one, two, three, four trains coming into here. And I'm going to make this six, although I think two of them are just going to be a pass through for the oil. Okay, we'll turn this around. That's a weird video effect we're getting now. That's new. Let's turn around, we'll put this right here. And then we can go to our nice brand new paved roads here. Paved country roads. I'm going to have to run this right along here to make sure it connects properly, aren't I? Let's go this way. Good enough. Okay, so that's now nicely connected to that, so that will work well. Now we're going to have to figure out what we want to do with this. I wish... 
I could do something more. I wonder, could I get away with doing something like this? Is this too high up or can I bridge this? If I could like come off right here and bridge the line down for the passengers to go to this, then this can run under that and that would eliminate any, you know, problem there. Let's go ahead and get rid of this track first off. Let's try that. Yes. I think I can make this work because I think what I can do here now is come to here and we need to do this anyways because we're going to have more traffic coming on here. Now does this reach the road? No it does not. Ugh. Let's try winding it all the way. And it still doesn't reach the road. Oh my god. Oh, game busted my balls. All right, you know what? Screw this. Screw this completely. Screw all of you. There we go. Here's what we're going to do. I'm sick to death of screwing around with this, trying to make it work. We're going to put this, I think we're going to put it right here. We're going to come in here and delete. No. Come on. Come in here and delete the buildings. Guys, come on. Make the footprint on these buildings the same. <laughs> For God's sake. It's ridiculous that I have to jump through hoops to try to, to upgrade a building on one of these. Okay, I'll put this right here. And then I think what I'll do here is I'm going to do that, and then we'll do a curvy section and come down to meet The existing intersection there. Okay, and then here we can just do a bit of a curve to meet that. Uh, no, I want this straight. And we'll do that. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. I'm going to skip that one because that's where I'm going to put the station. And we'll put, uh, actually not a station. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put a passenger station in here of a, a truck stop. Okay, buildings, what's this? Okay, it's not what I want. Whatever it is, I can't really see it because it doesn't want to... Well, that's sort of cool looking. What does that say it is? Small toll gate. Road rail bridge. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I've seen this before. Yeah, cars and trains can go across this bridge. That is sort of cool. I'll have to find a place I can use that at some point. Let's just use... Oh, here we go. Here's the vanilla ones. Um... So I wish they would fix the circus. That's that's too cool. There's a hospital. Except apparently something's missing. West tram terminal. We'll just use this one. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and set this to longer. And we'll put it like that. And we'll put an exit out the other side here. And we'll put some buildings in. There we go.
Hey, that worked perfectly. Didn't think it would. Thought there was no way that was going to line up. Okay, so. All right, that's perfect. That's actually, we can we can change this a little bit now because we, the city has expanded. We really need to start covering some more of this area. But it worked well to get everything reconnected where it was. Now this is all connected here. And what we're going to want to do is what I'm going to try to do here is this. I want... So that is over there. I want to split this off and head towards our new station. Come on, where's my tracks? Right there, okay. Let's try doing this. That was a lot more than I needed. Uh, I want you to remain flat for a little ways. There we go. That's what I wanted right there. Just nice straight off. Stay flat. Stay earth. Okay. And we'll do the same thing on this side. there. Okay, so now we have a branch off for this. And it stayed level, so it's a nice level crossing there. Looks good. And now, I wonder if we have any better bridges now. Can we get this down to here? We do have a metal bridge now. It's not going to let me do anything with it, though. Too much slope. Really? All that distance and you can't come down? Uh, let's try cutting this back a little bit further. Right like that. Too much slope. Uh, I want this to work. How am I going to make this work? Let's try redoing all this. That's a whole lot of growler's money you're wasting. Yes. You don't, don't seem very ashamed of it. No. It's play money, Growler. Just, just, just live with it. No such thing as play money. It's all serious money to Growler. Okay. Now. There's so much going on here. Just seeing the track I want to connect to is near impossible. Is that it? That looks like it. All right. So now, can we... Keep this on a downward slope here. Just want to see if I can get this downward slope going further. You know, so we're getting more downward slope before we get to this point. So I can go ahead and pull off from here. That seems to have worked. And I need to be on the outside. Looks like I did. And we'll switch this to this. Can I? I don't think I can do anything with this. That's no. Okay. 
All right, that's what I'm going with. We'll figure out how to reconnect the other section in a minute. <laughs> That takes that loop out of there, too, which, you know, this is the section where we want to be fast, so. Now the question is, how do I go about splitting this off without it being a complete mess? Well, right here. What if I just split this off right here? It's actually going back uphill to meet with that, isn't it? <laughs> Let's do this. How does that look? That's a pretty good crossing. I like it. We'll stick with that. And then we'll put in the matching one here. Okay, it's, well, it's got a bit of a problem here, but I'll live with it. Ugh, it is a mess there, isn't it? But now I think we can go ahead with this, and we can go ahead and meet them. See, I didn't want to put in a flat area like we had on the old one because I was afraid that if I did, it would just make it so, once again, we couldn't meet um, at the bottom. Get rid of the little funky ridge we had there, at least. Boy, I hate that. We won't be able to see it when we're looking at it normally, so... Okay, so that is fixed. I'm going to have to re-signal all of that, but that's good. So now we'll take this and bring it into here. And this and bring it into here. Probably going to end up with some stuck freight trains, but we'll deal with that later. So what we're going to do in this is the stuff coming south is going to stop on the, the uh, left side platform. And then coming back north, it stops at the right side of the platform. So, we won't have to worry about any of that. Um, I'm just going to delete this row because it's not really necessary. Alright, so now we have this. Let's go ahead. And I think what I want to do here... is put in uh, let's see no no there we go that's what I'm looking for let's put in a single one we'll put the station here on the back side of this so we need to just connect directly to the the oil thing. Yep. And then we'll go ahead and put a couple of pass-through tracks on it. And then we will reroute our lumber going this direction. Okay. So where is our lumber station at? Clear down here. So let's see. Let's grab this. Come under here. We'll undoubtedly be screwed up by that intersection. Oh, and here's our track. Okay. I told you. I told you we'd get screwed up by this intersection. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. So coming across here. Let's actually trying to make this a little neater. There, that makes 
makes it a nice straight stretch. There we go. There we go. You're crossing a road. You're not crossing the divide. <laughs> Why do you have so much trouble with it? Why do I have a little bitty piece of track there? That's weird. Was that left over from when this line went through here before? And actually, you know what? While we're at it, I am going to go ahead and upgrade this highway. We have a nice modern highway going between these two cities. All right, so that's in. Now we can worry about this connection. So these are all stopping here. So we're not worried about doing anything, anything else. So we're going to have these. Gonna, we're going to have the the oil passing through. We'll use the center as our. No, we're going to use these inner ones as our pass through. I think think. Yeah, why not keep these separate for now? Let's start with this one, I think. We'll go with this, and I'm just gonna run it as the crow flies here. So yeah, you'll come out of here and go down to that. Right here. that. He's really not even going to need... Yeah, I don't... No, let's not do that. I'm going to redo this. Actually, I think I'm going to come out of this way. This is going to be the one for this. Period. That's it. It's going to be the one for this. It is going to come to there. It'll come out of here. There. Because you only need one platform for this. There. So that's good. Then this is going to come out of here. And it's going to come up to this. this will come down to about the same spot and we'll grab this and connect it and it's going to be the same way it just needs one platform because it's just the train coming from you know between, going between Akron and Cedar Bluff that's all that's all it is and then here this is going to need to be a two-way uh, I think I'm going to do this Grab this, come all the way around to here, and then here, we'll grab this. It's just a short, short section of track, so actually just having dedicated track isn't going to be that huge of an expense. And then these will just be connected directly to here. Because they're just going to be passing through here, that's all they're going to be doing. Me heading out to go up to the oil refinery. And I'm going to have to figure out how to handle that once we get up there, too. So this is all done except for signaling. Let's go ahead and put signals on this. We got all sorts of new signals now. <laughs> I don't think it knows I need all these different signals. What is this? That's one of those. That's one of those. You know, whatever. We'll just use the first one. As long as it works, I don't care. So these are going to be one way. Right there. Right there. Okay. And then here we'll have one way right here. Right 
And then we don't need one way anymore. We just need a regular one, probably right about here. There we go. And then let's go ahead and put in this. You don't need that light, but it helps us space this out well. Yeah, that should work. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Now we have two signals here. There we go. Okay, so that's good. So actually, I think I should have just done the same thing right here. Right there. I'm not even gonna... You know what? Let's just do these so they look neat. So we'll manually put these in since they're so close. There we go. Nice and neat. And then here we can go ahead and turn auto sync on. And we'll go right there. And that looks like that's all good. And put one right there. That all looks good. Okay, so we got all of that done. Then right here, uh, we really don't have any signals or any of that, do we? We'll go ahead and just do that. And it comes up here and stops here for this one. So that's fine. We'll go ahead and do that there. Let's get rid of this signal. And we will go to, come on, one-way signals here, one there, one there, and then one at the other end of the switch. I swear I just made those one-way signals and I didn't. <laughs> Dang it! Alright, well I guess I'll do it manually. Alright. So we'll put auto sig back on and go from here. And that spacing isn't quite right. Uh, let's get rid of these here. Legacy ones, we don't need them. And then get rid of our duplicate here. And I think that fixes all of that up. So all of this is all set now. We need to make sure our passengers... Now let's see... For the... That's all freight. Where's the passenger trains? <laughs> Fine, let's fix the freight first. Um, actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and fix this first before we worry about that. So, let's see. We should probably... What's going to be the best way to do this? I'm going to... Get rid of that and that. Get rid of this. And what we're going to do is just come right off here to there. Do the same thing again. And switch here. And we got two platforms because we're gonna have at least two trains coming through there. Oh, this guy's the our straight through guy's got to come all the way back out too. 
We gotta remember that. Let's. I don't want to do this. So I was thinking this, I would just run through like this. And then he could cross on. And that will solve that problem. This is going to be so much switching going on here. And well, let's come off from here, I think. To connect to that. I think that's going to be our best option because we're also to keeping all of this together and that way yeah I went a little too far didn't I? Let's delete that. And let's do it again. Except not go too far this time. There we go. Okay. So now trains coming this way can stop here before entering any of this intersection. And then once there's nothing clear, then they can go. Back to signals. One way. That. Okay, there's your signal for that. You're going to stop here before entering. You're going to stop here before entering. So you're going to stop here. You're going to stop here. And you are going to stop here. So that should be everyone straightened out as to who can go when. Go ahead and get rid of those. Those are redundant. Actually, these aren't well placed. Let's redo these. So we'll go back to this. Go ahead and do this on all of them. Okay. And uh, that can just go away because there's just no room for it. We do want auto sig now. I am going to put this on uh, it, it put it on this side actually we'll go ahead and leave it on both sides um, cause that way we get a clear signal once this thing's off out of there okay right there one right there and one right here there so that's for a passenger service there I think we got this all redone. It's taken the entire episode, but it's all redone. Akron City Freight, first off. Okay, let's get rid of... Well, actually, let's add this one in. Cedar Bluff Freight Center. There we go. And why is this Akron Sidings? It should just be Akron. Okay, and why does it not like it? It's seeing there's a break somewhere in the line, I think. We do come all the way up here. We connect in here. Let's try just doing this, I guess. We'll go from here to here. That worked, okay. So that one's fixed. Now this one, Akron Sawmill Freight. And you will go from there to there. And you're happy. And we'll leave that alone. 
And then Cedar Bluff Food Freight. Should be pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. Come on, guys. <laughs> all you have to do is come down here and hop on there and you're all set to go. And you, here's what we need to do. We need to get some more... Uh, we need to get shed, uh, shed on here. So let's see here. Oh, and somebody's mowing. Sorry about that, guys. So let's put you right here. And then right here, onto this one. That takes care of all of those. And then here, I think what I'll do is this. And we'll put another shed right at the end of it. Beautiful. So then here, here. All I need to do is create a new uh, train for the food freight. Um, is that all electric? Could I run electric? I don't really want to run electric on there. Oh, we've got this one. Oh, it's a diesel. Let's use this diesel. Oh, one more too many. And this will be the Cedar Bluff Food Freight. Cannot connect to all stations. I don't understand what its complaint is. <laughs> Why can't it connect to all stations? It looks like it's connected to me. Food freight. So you can see it coming out of here, it comes up to here, but it doesn't seem to be able to return. Why? The track is here. There's absolutely no reason why you can't return on this track. He's running. Let's let it run for a minute and see if it fixes itself. Because there's absolutely no reason why it can't do this. It's double slip switch. Turn around, go back the way you came. He's not going to. <laughs> what is wrong with this side of things that it's not doing? The other one is fine. Hang on, let's look at uh, the Tri-City Freight. See, it's running just fine. So this should be fine. It's it's like the uh, the double slip is not actually showing as a double slip, despite the fact that it is a double slip switch. Okay, let's take this out. There. We'll take all of this out. Okay. I know what I did. I know what I did. I bet you I had a one-way signal there blocking it. And that's double slip. 
And now, train seven, no path. You reverse. There we go. That was it. I put in a runway light here, and I should not have. It should be a two-way light. Right here. So that he will stop and wait for traffic there. It doesn't really matter. He would have stopped just at the, waited at the platform. But now he'll stop here and wait before proceeding into this whole big intersection. <sighs> we got all of that redone. I am pleased with our success there. It's getting time to upgrade this uh, 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 our passenger stuff in some of these cities, too. Oh, wait. We still have one thing to do. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, it's going to run long because I want to do this. Um, I think. Now, I'll have to figure out this next time. We're going to have to now have a route to get the oil uh, to come in here and all the way up here to the oil refinery. And I feel like what I'm going to need to do is on our freight platform here, extend this and have it come around and have a second track on here so it can run all the way around to there. Um, let's do it. Back with it. I don't I don't want to wait. I want to get it done. This 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 is going to be such a long video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go ahead and we'll just put this on here. Okay, I think that's all good. And then this one here, we're going to do the same thing. Except in this one, we're going to need another platform, too. Actually, I should have needed one. Did I, need, did I put another? Oh. It's only the second time I've done that since we started playing it again. Why did that one not place? There. Okay. Yeah, that's going to need another platform, too. Did it again. Getting sloppy. Okay, so that's in. Okay, we're gonna pause this. Take this all off from here. Actually, that looks good. And you're gonna go to the second track now, not the first. And we can just come off from here onto there for that. Ooh, no, let's not. Let's come on from here first. Around to here. And then into there. Except that's all in the way. Oh, that intersection is just going to be in the way no matter what I do, isn't it? All right, so that's there. I may need to redo that. We'll see. And then this one needs to get changed. And we'll go from here. Oh, come on. Go from here down to here. And then here to here. We do need a one-way signal on this one. The other one, we don't need it. I hope that's going to be enough. I hope that will work. If not, then we will have problems. I might need to have a pass-through for it here. And we might need to double-track this more. We'll see if we need to put a second train on here. And then let's just create our route 
from here all the way up to here. And this will be the Cedar Bluff Crude Oil Freight. And I suppose we can use this one. That'll work just fine. We'll use the Mikado again. Because we don't have uh, uh, freight cars that'll go any faster yet. One too many. Okay. So we finally have this going. The big, the big thing I'm worried about right here is what's going to happen if we have a freight train sitting on this platform at the same time as we have a freight, uh, an oil freight wanting to go through there. We'll see. That could, and I think that was an oil well closure, but I didn't see what oil well closure. But we'll just have to wait and see how that works out. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Yeah, there it is. One of these up here is closing. I don't care. Oh, and this down here is closing. I don't care because that was going to be a pain to get to. <laughs> oh, it's complaining. Could not overlook fuel oil freight. Oh, because I forgot to change the platforms. And I think here he still stays in the same platform. Yeah, that's fine. All right, stop, stop. This one I want to hop on. Okay, and we will see how this thing does. Whether or not it makes it uh, all the way up and back. I, I'm, ha I'm expecting I'm going to have a traffic problem here I'm going to have to fix. But I will deal with that later. That's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm glad we got through all of it without the game crashing. <laughs> I guess all I need to do is that video driver update. But uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.